We're now going to add a little algebra into dealing with squares. So, for example, if we have a square like this one, and the length of the side of this square is 5y, what will the area of the square be? Well, we know the area of the square is just given by taking the length of the side and multiplying it by itself. So it's 5y multiplied by 5y, which we know we can write as 5y squared. And what is that answer going to be? Well, we need to take the 5 and multiply it by the 5, and that'll give us 25. Or if we went straight from the squared, we could see that it's the 5 squared, which gives us 25. And then we've got to take the y and multiply it by the y, and that'll give us y squared. Or if we went straight from that second line, we just see we've got the y squared, which is y squared. So the area of this square is 25y squared. Now let's just have a little bit of a look at um, what different kinds of squaring we can have. And really what I'm trying to point out here is we need to pay attention to what bits are actually being squared. So if we have a look at the first one, what all is being squared? Well, it's the 5y that's being squared. In other words, we've got a 5y multiplied by a 5y. And as we've just seen, to do that, we say 5 times 5 is 25, and y times y is y squared. Now, if we go to the next one, what here is being squared? Well, the only thing that's being squared in this case is the y. In other words, what we have here is 5 multiplied by y multiplied by y. And that just gives us 5y squared, right? Now let's have a look at the next one. Here we've got negative, and then in brackets, 5y squared. So what's being squared? Again, it's just the 5y that's being squared. The negative is not in the bracket, so it's not being squared. So you've got negative, and then 5y multiplied by 5y, and again, the negative is just there, and then we've got 5 times 5 is 25, the y times y is y squared, and so our answer is negative 25y squared. What's different in the next one, let's have a look. What is being squared in this case? Well, it's the negative 5y that's being squared. That whole thing, the negative, the 5, and the y, all being squared. So what you've got is negative 5y multiplied by negative 5y. And we know a negative times a negative gives us a positive. Then 5 times 5 is 25y times y is y squared. So we've got 25y squared. And then let's look at the last one. Well, here it's just the y that is being squared. So what we've got is the negative 5 multiplied by y multiplied by y. And that's just negative 5y squared.